So if you can see the difference in the waters here, the brown water is the official Amazon River. The black water is obviously the Black River. Yeah, the yeah. So this is the difference. I'm about to, I'm about to touch the Amazon, Amazon waters right here. It is warmer. You're right. This is the Amazon River. There's the Amazon rainforest over in the distance. We have officially crossed over the waters right there. Look at the difference. My goodness, why is it so drastic? I've never seen it separate quite, quite like this. There's a lot more fish in the Amazon. The Amazon is much, much larger. But see, look, there's the line again. Wow, that is incredible right here. This is the Amazon River. Well, that is right over there. Which is odd to me that it separates like that. But yeah, if you've never seen the Amazon, now you have. Congratulations. Okay, YouTube, quick science time. She just said that to that camera, he just said to me, blah, blah, blah. We're discussing why the waters are separated so drastically. See the difference right here? If you, if you have an idea why, pause the video now and leave a comment below. Okay, so pause it right now, leave a comment, I'll wait. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna tell you why. There are three reasons why the waters are so separate like this. I'll see who, how many of you guessed it, all right? It's not because one is brown and one's black. That's dumb. No, it's because there's the uh, Black River is warmer than the Amazon River. So one of the things is temperature. The temperature has to normalize before the waters can, you know, come together. Come together. Anyway, <laughs> so Black River is warmer than the Amazon River. Partially because the Amazon River is so much larger, it takes more time to heat up the entire body of water. So, Black River, warmer. The second thing is the speed of the waters. So they're traveling at different speeds. I believe the Amazon River is a bit faster than the Black River, the current of it. It's four kilometers an hour. It's, it's what? Three to four kilometers an hour, and the Black River is two to three. Okay, yeah, the Amazon River travels from how many? Four to five? Four, three to four. All right, three to four kilometers an hour. Well, the Black River travels at two to three kilometers an hour, so the Black River's a bit slower, so the speed is, is another thing. This river, these rivers travel like this for 12 kilometers before they can actually come together as one river. I think I already said that. I'll probably edit that out. And the third reason? And the third reason is, I said temperature, uh, speed, and the acidity of the water. Because the Black River right here has a lot, of, it has a chemical, compound that is different from the Amazonia River. A lot of that is because there are many, there are lots of boats traveling through this water. There's uh, leaves decompose more often in this water than in the Amazon. Yeah, yeah, they decompose and they have a chemical reaction, chemical process that goes off in there. Uh, this, this water is used more for tourism while that water is used more for fishing. So there are a lot more boats on this water than that water. So it, it causes a difference in uh, chemicals, maybe like gasoline falls in, things like that. So that's why the waters stay separated for so long. Once those three things normalize, then the waters run together as one big Amazon river. The more you know. See if you got it right. <laughs> Look at the speed. Look at the grace of this sloth right here. Having a good day. What's up, dude? Just chilling? He's chilling. I don't know what kind of bird this is, but it's hanging out. Oh, shoot, my glasses. Toots. Toots. It's, um...